Let me tell you to go check out the Browns, bro. Uh, you don't feel me, no It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerge from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Lambo out to kick this one away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Second and nine. On right, second and nine. Trubisky. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. Finding Gabriel complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. First and 10 at the 19. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Trubisky's throw into the hands of Burton. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. 
And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. Uh, no doubt a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. Foles and the Jags come up now first and 10 at the 20. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. That really sets him back. A loss of six. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now on second and 16, Foles. A quick throw, but incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now falls. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Foles. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. One, 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 one. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Here's Foles. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here we go, here we go. Let's get, let's get. Here we go. Second and ten. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Go, go, go. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. No, oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They'll try and throw for it here. And this is incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. Well, that, my friend, I guess is the definition of a head scratcher. Fourth and long, this stage of the game, what were they doing? I just have to believe that he, he looked at the situation, still in the first half, decided there was a time to be aggressive. Now was it, because 
there's still time to make up for it if things don't go right. Of course, a lot of questions on this one. Look, I'll, oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go down at the 28. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense close. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Khalil Mack picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sorted back its hit. <laughs> they try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So it can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll set up a throw. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Khalil Mack giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Here's a pass strung out left to his running back, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Now Trubisky to Cohen out of the backfield. 157 to go in his first half on EA Sports. Don't do the hard crash. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Been a bit of a dogfight thus far into the second quarter now, and we do have our first points, a field goal. Yeah, a lot of people say, wow, first action on the scoreboard, about time to me. 
The action's been right there on the field. Trying to figure out who could gain an advantage, gain some field position, finally get points on the board. I'm loving this kind of game. And feels like kickers might play a big role in this one. Yes, make sure you give them the respect they deserve. It could cost you a game or win you one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their deep. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Prince of Mukamara. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Caught out left side by Robinson. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts, so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Now it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll work his way forward up to the 22. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Off the play fake to Fournette. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leonard Floyd. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. First down, Trubisky. This one out left to the tight end, Burton. And they'll get this down to the 10. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Trubisky will throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. 
And it's third down. A third field goal in the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Miles Jack. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Again, it's Fournette. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Under, 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 under. Now Leonard Fournette. Fournette, first down, still going. And he takes it across the 15 to the 46-yard line. That would a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll look to throw here. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, and he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. They're going to try and throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Eddie Jackson picks him. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Well, Charles, while we have a moment, you know what we need to do here is give a nod to the new Hall of Famers who were brought into Canton and inducted on August the 3rd. Champ Bailey, Pat Bolin, Gil Brandt, Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law, Kevin Mawai, Ed Reed, and Johnny Robinson, all part of the class. Fantastic class. When you talk about guys who played at a top level, obviously they're Hall of Famers. But what I found interesting about it is you've got a great pass catcher, the best pass catching tight end in history in Tony Gonzalez. How would he like to work against this secondary? 
Champ Bailey in high long corner. Ed Reed and Johnny Robinson at safety. Good luck trying to get open against those four. What a matchup that would have been, but it was a terrific night for those gentlemen. Congratulations. And of course, Ed Reed's bust will go down in history because they got the hair exactly right. And Ed had a ball up there in his Hall of Fame speech. And remember, next year, they're going to celebrate the centennial year of the NFL with a special class of 20. So get ready for those speeches. I wonder if they'll do it like Johnny Robinson this year, who actually submitted a video instead of going up to the podium. And his speech was about five minutes long, which is probably about the right length. 18, 18, 18. Move your Check 53. From the 45 on second down, Trubisky, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Read it well, and it's picked. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Throwing again on second down. Foles. That's out to his running back, Fournette. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. And able to find Conley. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. Now a run. This is Alfred Blue. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, Foles. He'll rifle this one deep right, and that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.D. Westbrook, 30 yards. As his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead here in the fourth. A very important extra point there, up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He completes this into the hands of Miller. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A gain of six there on first. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down, Trubisky. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Now Trubisky. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And they will score.